Hey everybody, I was sitting here putting some harnesses together and I was doing some heat shrinking and I was thinking about a little video I wanted to do a while back and I just, I never have time and I thought, you know what, if I never do it, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. So I wanted to show you something. This harness right here, this is one a customer sent that didn't work. It's one of the Vittos or the, uh, the China harnesses. You see how thin it is and everything. And I just wanted to show you guys something about the wire that we use. Some of you may question, let me shoot right here, the wire feels really stiff. The wire is not really that stiff, it's the jacketing. It's a high temp jacketing, it's 18 gauge wire, just like, well, these are almost at 20, it's like a metric. But anyway, it's the, the insulation that makes it feel that way. It's a very high temp insulation, and I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick. So here's what you buy if you buy a China made harness, right? So I'm gonna show you how well they hold up the heat. So, take a look at it here. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's smoked. See that burnt through insulation, turn stringy, it's done. We're gonna do it again right here on this brake switch. So, see if I can get too hot on my fingers. One, two, three, four, five. See there, it's, it's done. See there? Okay, we're gonna do factory wire now. This is a ATC harness, an old ATC that was sent to me. So this is factory wiring. We're going to do a five second count. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's see there's some discoloration on it right there. And it will peel back. It, you can tell it did hold up a little better than this. Although it, you know, obviously softened and peeled off. Now we're going to try the wire that we use for a five second count. Mind you, the heat gun's really heated up now. It's been on all this time. And this is a, you can show it, so it's a Milwaukee heat gun on a high setting, 1300 degrees. So now we're gonna do a five second count on the wire that we use. One, two, three, four, five. Very little discoloration. If anything, you'll see when you get your wire that it's a little bit lighter sometimes in some spots. And what that is is because it's been heated. So for instance, this harness here, the end of it, it's going to be a little lighter colored here where it's been heated. But anyway, here's what we just heated up. And it's good. This is really good wire. It's already somewhat warm. So I'll warm it up another couple of seconds to show you guys. Well, you know what? Let's do the other side. Let's see what it takes to actually melt it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's burning my table. So there, it's very slight discoloration. See there? Let's see if we can peel it. <laughs> it's hot, hello. So it, I was able to strip it, but you can see that it just broke, it didn't melt. So, I mean, this is some really, really good wire. So video is gonna be a little too long for Facebook. I have to put it on YouTube and post a link, but Basically, this wire really offers a good heat protection. This, uh, I'm not saying you can run it on your pipe or anything like that, but if this happens to get against your pipe for some reason for a short time, you're out riding, it's not gonna melt like this and you shut your bike down. More than likely, I mean, your pipe should never see 1300 degree temperatures. If this were to get, a, get against a pipe lightly and ride against it, I think it's probably gonna be fine. You know, this is really good stuff. So I wanna share that with you guys and I have, I heat shrunk a lot on my table before and I've never discolored it. So when you saw that was a lot of time at 1300 degrees. So I want to share it with you guys. Thank you.